Hey guys, this is Mr. Tumbleweed. And this is Calmerx. And we are Wannabe Gaming, and we are here to bring you guys a commentary, or what we'd like to call a look into. And we are bringing you a look into Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So while bringing you guys this commentary, we're going to talk about a couple things here and there in this video, and talk about some things that we like, some things that we don't like, a bunch of different points. Just comment and kind of see what uh, we like and think about the game. We're going to watch through some of this video, and don't judge us. It's not the best compilation ever. It's not about the gameplay. We want to talk to you guys about the game itself. Yeah, and uh, obviously don't be judgy judge. This is actually my game footage right here, and <laughs> this was literally like what the third time I played Counter Strike. So yeah, if that he's never played any game. He never played 1.6 or Source. I mean, I've played all those games, but this is his first time with it. Yeah, it's my first uh, Counter Strike experience, and I thought it was pretty interesting. I hope I get to uh, play some more of it in the future. Yeah, so uh, getting off of that, actually. Um, you know, Counter-Strike Source, I'm sure a lot of you have played. If you have played Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you've probably played 1.6 or Source or both. And, you know, I just want to comment, you know, playing both of those games. A lot of people are, you know, they're being fanboys to the older versions saying they don't want to switch to this. But Global Offensive is a pretty good game. They did a really good job. The graphics are really neat. Some of the gun models, I think they could have done better with. Like, the op could have looked a little more badass, in my opinion. But, hey... Who am I to judge? I think the game looks pretty good. And what do you think as somebody who hasn't played the other games? What do you think? Well, I think um, in this case, I'm talking about the graphical fidelity here. I think the Source engine, to a degree, might be showing its age for a bit. And um, I think some of the texture qualities, maybe some of the meshes are kind of iffy. But if you're a competitive gamer, that really shouldn't be a uh, major issue or deterrent for you. Right. And, and uh, what really matters is the mechanics, and as someone who hasn't played many Counter-Strike games, it seems pretty solid in my opinion. Yeah, I agree, and I want to hit on that actually, um, reading an article by Valve, they were saying that the reason they made this game was to bring Counter-Strike and first-person shooters in general back into the gaming and like MLG sphere. That's yeah. why they kind of made it. And just to cut you off right there, I ran in front of that guy like a fucking tool bag, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. The footage gets better, we <laughs> promise, guys. The footage you're watching does get better. Our, our clan is getting their uh, their butts handed to them right now, but it gets better. But we wanted to start off with showing that we are not full of ourselves, and we are human. We have players learning games, and we're just having a good time and bringing you guys all the information that we can. Although I'm pretty sure that uh, Frenzy, deep down, is probably Korean, so <laughs> moving yeah. on from that. Yeah, Frenzy's a guy from our clan. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next point. So, um, we want to talk a little bit about the gunplay and mechanics. You want to start with that? Um, yeah, gunplay seems interesting. Um, so you have the MP7 right here. Yeah, they, that, whatever that is, the MP7. <laughs> um, so what I've seen so far with the submachine guns is obviously you're not going to get much range out of these things. The reticle bl bl bloom on it gets, um, stays relatively manageable, but yeah. as you can see right there, I can get those long range kills, but it's going to take significantly more bullets to do that. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the bloom. That's a lot of people who've come from 1.6 and Source have had a lot of complaints and they've made a lot of distress about the bloom. But look at all the other games out there and really compare it. It's not that bad. They had to do something to change the game up and add another skill base to it. I personally enjoy it. I've played Counter Strike for, you know, seven, eight years and I've always liked it. But I think the bloom is. I think it's a nice change. It's interesting. It adds a little bit more tactical, you know, approach to the game. Yeah, and um, one little issue I have with the Bloom personally is that I feel like it adds, as someone who's been playing a lot of like Battlefield or Call of Duty or whatever stuff like that, I think the Bloom maybe adds a bit of a random element to it. Yeah. Because when I'm playing around and I'm standing up and shooting, I'm, I might just suck a Counter Strike, and <laughs> I, I really, I, I kind of do at this point. I just need to get better, but um. I feel like that bloom, I'm not getting a lot of accuracy out of it. And I feel like that, for me at least, it's not really my favorite feature of the game at this point. Yeah. No, I completely agree. It's it's a good side. You know, everybody has their different looks on it. That's good. So going into the next thing, a lot of people have talked to us about the server browsers. Um, you know, we there are, are a lot of clans out there. And God knows our clan, which is, if you guys don't know, Good Game Losers. Uh, we... We're originally Good Game Loser YouTube channel, but we just kind of switched up the name for some other reasons. But GGL is our clan, and you know it's we get seven, eight guys set up and ready to play the game. It's pretty difficult 
to get into a game together. And, uh, you know, that's something we've talked about, and it would be nice if they offered something to fix that. Like, what do you think? Well, I think if um, we want to get, like, eight guys in the same game server, we might as well have, like, maybe some locally based server options, maybe. Yeah. That might be a good idea, but, like, playing, like, online on, like, a random search queue or something. Basically, I, just, I feel like they yeah. could have done a better job. Yeah, like, but I like, feel like it makes it makes playing with your friends very difficult the way the games start up. And I understand, obviously, you're not going to be on the same team if you're starting into a match that's halfway over. Mm -hmm. But you know how we always restart a game and we're like, oh my god, everybody rush to get the best internet in the world so we can all get on the same force as quickly as possible. Like, it's very difficult for all of us to get on the exact same force. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish they had implemented something that would have allowed, you know, the group parties... Because obviously it says, okay, you're going to play with your friends. You invite your friends to the group and then you start the game up. I just think it would make sense to kind of, you know, have that group stay on the same team. You know, have some kind of mechanic in the game that would allow that. That was, you know, as great of a game as this is, that was one of the disappointing features I found. And I figured, I thought they'd fix it in beta, but they haven't. Yeah, and I feel like um, maybe a possible solution to the issue, and I, I completely agree with what you're saying, what you're saying. Um... I feel like maybe there could be, we could look in server browsers to see if we can find like empty servers so we can play together. Yeah. And just something like that. No, that makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. I, I totally agree with you because that whole, um, that whole team changing or switch, the choosing team area. Yeah, at the beginning of the match, choosing the team. Yeah, and I'm sorry for that stroke right there, but um, <laughs> I feel like that could be a little bit better in my opinion right and um yeah i think you know yeah. like it, offering our you know advice what we kind of did as a clan you know you can go to the gaming browser the server browser um maybe find a server that's not very packed don't use like the quick match stuff because honestly that doesn't it doesn't it, it's really works against clans and uh stuff like that and maybe just find a bigger server that allows more players. Yeah, and the server browser most some of the times doesn't even work anyway. Right. Because just several times already I've tried to use it and it just kicked me out of the game and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, obviously the gameplay is a lot of fun. It's a very, very great game to play. There's a lot to offer in Counter-Strike Go. Obviously it's not... You know, yeah. it's not completely different from the other two, but it's a nice new feeling from being an old Counter-Strike player. And it's not a perfect game. It's um, it's got some flaws to it, but I think I think it's a really really fun game. Right. But like most of the flaws I said are into the UI and the server browsing and the whole clan support thing. Yeah. But, uh, so uh, I hope to see you guys out there. Uh, we are Clan GGL. I'm Mr. Tumbleweed. This is Calmarex. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage and some of the things we had to say today. Uh, my opinion, if I had to say would I buy this game again, knowing everything that I know, I would absolutely say yes. It's only $14. It's a great game. Offers a lot of different things for you to do. It's very mod compatible. They made it specifically for mods to just go ham and moderators can do anything they want and make all sorts of things and uh, I think it's a great game I really think it's worth the price I give it a good rating you know we talked about some of the problems so hopefully you guys can look at those problems and if you think hey these guys really didn't like these things I can deal with it then that's great if not don't buy the game modding has definitely been a major thing for Valve for the past forever so that's definitely a big plus for gamers and modding adds like hours upon hours of extra gameplay. Yeah. Like you can get infinite amounts of mods out there to make your gaming experience exactly what you want it to be. So like if you don't like the UI, maybe you can find a server that mods it or something or just maybe just something that makes the game better. And as I'm saying, I'm probably not sure if I'm going to be playing this. I do own the game. Right. Because I'm mostly going to be playing Guild Wars 2. Yeah. And segue, that could 2. be that could be our next look into. So Yep. Thank you guys. Um, so, uh, Matt, you want to do a channel update? Just give these guys a schedule of what we're going to be doing? Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, guys, we are, uh, again, if you watched our last two videos, you saw that we are in the process of kind of updating everything. We uh, 
We're looking to get a couple more games out there for you guys. We're going to do a look into um, Natural Selection 2. I'm going to do that myself. Mm -hmm. And me and Calmerex will probably do a Guild Wars 2. We have a huge guild on Maruma, which I'm sure all of you know who plays on Maruma, so I'm not even going to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody come on out and play some Guild Wars 2 with us. Hit us up. Uh, subscribe, like. We are trying really hard for you guys. We're going to be doing... A couple different kinds of videos for you guys. Me and Calmerex were talking about it earlier. We're going to do our look into's, which are commentaries about the game, maybe sway you guys into buying them or not. We are also going to do just playthroughs, just cool footage, funny stuff that we compile and put together, and uh, different videos like that. So, Yep, and we're also going to be doing tutorials just to help you guys learn how to play other games that might be difficult or something like that. Yeah, if you're stuck in a game or something, we'll do walkthroughs to really help you guys out for the new players out there who want to learn about the game itself. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we really hope you enjoyed our first look into, and I hope you guys keep coming back to the channel, subscribe and like, follow us, and see what else we have to bring to you guys. Thank you so much. Can't thank you guys enough for this. We wouldn't be doing it without y'all's help and support. And uh, you there, the good-looking person watching this video right now, whether you are a man, a woman, or anything in between, I just want to let you know that I love you. And, and I love you, too. I know, right? I love you so much. So much love in this place. Take care. I don't love you. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. Okay. In love with... Oh. Oh. All right. Oh.